uh, well, the, the, you are expecting an answer, but the whole idea behind the, the, all of these is that you receive them from the beginning. In other words, you, as, as we said, you settle it from the beginning. So if you go to pray, when you leave there, it's done. Now, I, and let me, let me throw this in here because I want you to get this. This is one of the things that I've noticed. And if I, you know, I don't generally claim a lot of revelation, that kind of thing. Uh, if I was going to claim a revelation on this, this would be where it would be in the area of prayer. I have learned to pray in a way that whenever someone comes to me, I can speak the prayer to them, as we would say, God hears it, but I'd be speaking so that later on, if I have to pray again, I'm not going to undo the first prayer. I'm actually reinforcing it, right? So that, that's a big deal in how to get results in prayer, is that if you say, okay, this is done, so in Jesus' name it's done. We thank you. We receive it in the name of Jesus. And then you walk off, and the people come to you later and say, uh, you know, a lot of it's gone, but I still need prayer. Okay, you're going to come back and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this is the way not to do it. Okay, this is the way not to do it. You don't come back, Father, in the name of Jesus, would you please heal this person? Right now, in the name of Jesus, we expect this person to be healed. Okay, what are you doing? You just basically told God that your other prayer that you consider it as no good. Why? Because you're asking God to do it again. Instead, I've learned whenever I pray the second, third, fourth time, whatever, however many times I need to, I've learned to go back and say, in the name of Jesus, be healed now, right now. I, I don't say we receive it. Why? Because we've already received it. What am I doing now? I'm reinforcing the first prayer. I'm not praying again. I'm not praying against the first prayer. I'm reinforcing the first prayer. Right? I'm, still, I'm still believing that it was answered the first time. Now, as far as answered means God has granted the answer, right? That does not mean the thing is gone. You got that? Having your prayer answered means that God has granted it. That does not mean that the person having the problem, that that problem has removed itself from them because you have an enemy sometimes that you have to evict. And many times, if you're not used to doing this, it usually takes you longer. Why? Because the enemy doesn't believe you. He, he thinks if he hangs out here a little bit longer, most Christians quit. They'll give up. They'll find some reason. They'll start digging. See, the minute you start digging, let, let's say we consider this thing done. Let's say a person comes to me the first time, and I pray for them. And we say, this is done. You're healed in the name of Jesus. By his stripes, you were healed 2,000 years ago. Now we enforce that healing. So be healed now in Jesus' name. Then let's say we step back. Uh, two days later, they come back and they go, you know, this is good, this is good, but, but this problem is still going on and the thing is not gone yet. Okay, if I say, hmm, well, I wonder where we missed it. I wonder, you know, uh, you know, is there any sin in your life? Is there something, you know, maybe we need to check, you know, maybe there's something in your background, maybe in your family's but See, the minute you do that, you just said, it's not done. You just denied your prayer. You just completely denied the work of Christ in them, and you're saying now that it wasn't done, so what you're saying now is you didn't really believe you had received when you prayed. So, so really what you're going to see is that all of these prayers are intertwined, the different types of prayer. The only reason we're bringing them out specifically is so that you can look at how each one works, but when you start ministering, it's, it's life. 